Ladies and gentlemen, he is back for another video before he disappears for another 9 to 12 months, depending on taxes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing eyes today, and let's just get straight into it. I have, um, I have a lot of pictures here of different characters, and they have different eyes, and I thought that we would spend today just deconstructing how Tracy Hardley usually draws eyes, and maybe see how we can manipulate them to express various emotions. So, let's get straight into it. Alright, so we'll notice a couple of things. Firstly, got this side eye here, okay? That's important to know, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but uh, essentially that's what the eye looks like from the side. So, it's kind of in a rare position that you don't really normally see. So that's why I'm just taking a moment to uh, look at it. But essentially, to draw the eye, let's get a nicer red. To draw this particular eye, you have this, this almost curve shape like this, but you'll notice this part here. That's kind of important. That's kind of like a mainstay for drawing Sonic's eyes. It has this, this little off-hanging part here, um, and Yardley usually does that. And so once he draws this like curve shape, he'll then reattach with another curve shape, but it will be underneath um, underneath this little section here. And this is noticeably rounder than, say, Shadow the Hedgehog's eyes, which might look a little more sharp or angry. Um, so I just thought I'd take a second just to look at that. Uh, Alright, so we notice that there are other other types of eye positions. Um, so take a look at this. This is a classic laughing face. But look how unique the eyes are portrayed here. And then also, not only do you have to pay attention to the eye, but you also have to pay attention to the eyebrow. So, um, this little wavy part here. Uh, essentially, that's half of the, the eye right there. So, like, you'll have the eye position... <laughs> I gotta stop abbreviating words. But then the eyebrow on top really can change the entire context. So if I. Maybe if I. Gave like a dip in the eyebrow. Uh, it definitely changes the way that you uh, perceive the emotion. So also take a little look at that when we break down a couple. So I think this is a good. Um, point to show there are different types of eyes fundamentally so you have sort of this you have the female eye that's more square looking let me zoom in there this is more based on a square shape so characters like Tails also have or had and uh, Sally also had eyes shaped like squares um, then you have this this is more like Shadow the Hedgehog's Eyes, but Tracy also uses it. Um, he could also use it with with Knuckles or Sonic um, as well, but it's a little different. Now this is essentially the same as the one we saw last time, um, just a little more. Uh, the shape of the muzzle kind of changes this part, since the muzzles um, this giant arch like that, you get more of a hunter-looking eye. This eye here is uh, a female eye as well, where it's a little circular, a little more circular. Uh, so unlike the square one, which is just noticeably squarer, you'll see that there are points here. Um, it's kind of like a circle that comes to a point. And so if you, if you break the face in half, you'll find that if you divide again, like 45 degrees, that's usually where the points come, or that's usually where the points appear uh, as guides for those eyes. And then, this is exactly the same. Okay, so, that's what the classic eye position looks like. But, 
what happens when we adjust the eye. So let's get straight into it. These were just examples of like different ways you can manipulate eyes. But um, so if you notice here, this is like the, the classic, the classic V shape. But then in this one, it turns into a, um, what is it like a, a rectangle? Um, you can do that to the eyes to manipulate the emotion. That's all that was there for. All right, so let's get into the eyes. So taking Sonic's eye here, uh, one of the female's eyes, the square looking eyes, uh, then the almost shadow the hedgehog quote unquote eyes, and then the uh, rounder 45 degree angle eyes. All right, so we take those baseline eyes and we want to impose sadness what you normally do is you'll add these it's usually all to do with the eyelids but if the eyelids are um, angling downwards if they're angling downwards in this position so sort of like a um, how would you even describe that kind of like a an asymptote. Um, <laughs> okay, it's an asymptote. Just start doing asymptotes, and you'll get this sad look. But you can see how, with these eyes here, I've cut through and changed the shape. So for once, what would have been like the the bottom of the eyelid uh, has now moved into this position here. So it's like the 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 bigger the eyes, but with a like decline eyelid, um, is essentially how you create a sad look. So if I get rid of the copy of the eyes here, you can see even though this guy's, you know, he's got naturally angrier looking eyes, he still kind of looks a little forlorn and and upset. This one here obviously looks much sadder. Same with this, and with Sonic's eyes, notice that I have adjusted from here and as I said moved up and that makes a big difference so it's a little different with Sonic because he has one eye as opposed to these characters um, who have two eyes so you would um, use the eyelids to signify that but with Sonic you'll normally use the eyebrows to signify that all right let's do another one what about happy emotion so how can we change these neutral eyes here and how can we make them look happy all right so I put in the little guidelines here essentially I've kept the eyes exactly the same the thing that I've just added is um, I've essentially gotten rid of their eyes and made the eyelid this part here um, ecstatic looking by giving it the opposite so if if an eyes like this and sad is adding that that decline that declining slope then happy would be adding a positive slope and to make it more overt if you get rid of the eye completely and act like their eyes are closed that's like a classic um, pleased pleased eye look so that's something to consider as well now with those kind of eyes the happy eyes it takes more muscles to frown than to smile so if you remember that so you could make a case that, that might help you out with, like when drawing with Sonic because Sonic's whole anatomy of his eye changes whereas to smile it's essentially the same as his regular eye shape but <laughs> you just add these lines and that's pretty much the case with all these characters. So notice they all go from looking sad to happy just at the uh, the different um, incline of the eyelids there. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. So you can play off of these principles that I'm giving you and um, essentially use them to generate other eye positions. Um... So here we have a surprised look, or a sort of like a, 
almost surprised angry. Um, which is a little weirder to, to kind of portray. So you can see a difference here in that Sonic's eyes have now, if that's the neutral position, if, if his face here is like a neutral position, I've just emphasized the slopes a little higher. So if we look at the original, the original eyes, notice the lines come from here and I've simply pulled everything up. It's like if you grabbed his face and pulled it up and watched it all get taller and um, skinnier, kind of, it, it gives this feeling of um, height, heightened intensity, I guess, um, one way to put it. And so even though it's essentially the same, um, you can tell that he's just slightly alert or a little more than slightly alert, especially when you add these sorts of lines. Okay, now with this one, you can use the eyelids on the bottom of the character. So I could, I could add eyelids here and it would also change to a, a, wet, a more intense look. Um, but with this character, I decided to just do eyelids, but you can still tell that Sonic and the eyes for this character, um, they have a similar type of heightened uh, intensity to them. Um, now with Shadow, you could essentially do the same thing. I've decided to do a variation where I've added eyelid on the top and bottom, and I've kept his original the original shape and form, um, and so it, it kind of gives a different intent. It, it gives a different intensity. He's still intensely looking, but um, it's not like he's scared or anything like that. Um, so you can like do variations, but still get give a similar emotional effect. And then uh, this one's essentially the same as this one here, just uh, without the squarer looking eyes. So. <laughs> Those are th a couple of examples of ways, kind of almost fundamental ideas um, to show different types of emotion. Hopefully that was helpful, that you could glean something from it. This is kind of like the stepping stone uh, to be able to look at um, you know, how to draw eyes just like Yardley does. I would encourage you to look at the comics, definitely, and look at all the different uh, types of emotional um, eye positions that he can create um, that'll really help you because there are some more new, there are I mean there are trillions of expressions not trillions but there are a lot of expressions and uh, it can help show you the nuances of that but hopefully that can, this can get you off on the right track anyways I'll see you in 12 months everyone until then have a good one bye